Good morning and welcome to St. John's the Liturgy Online. These are our morning prayers for Friday, April the 24th. Today we remember martyrs of the 20th century. There is no other century in the history of the Christian Church where so many people have died for their commitment and faith in Christ. Whether it be three million Armenian Christians in the First World War, over a million Orthodox in the Soviet Union, an unknown number of Albanians, hundreds of Germans who resisted the Nazi regime, Burmese Christians and African Christians, the number is staggering. Today's memorial of these people is meant to be a small act of resistance on our part, a refusal to be silent in the face of terror and injustice. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. We continue with home prayers on page 687 in the Book of Alternative Services. God is our light and our salvation, and in his name we light this candle. May it remind us of the beauty of his truth and the radiance of his love. May our hearts be open to the light of Christ, now and at all times. Lord, in your mercy, let there be light. Psalm 16. Protect me, O God, for I take refuge in you. I have said to the Lord, You are my Lord, my good above all other. All my delight is upon the godly that are in the land, upon those who are noble among the people. But those who run after other gods shall have their troubles multiplied. Their libations of blood I will not offer nor take the names of their gods upon my lips. O Lord, you are my portion and my cup. It is you who uphold my lot. My boundaries enclose a pleasant land. Indeed, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel. My heart teaches me night after night. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not fall. My heart, therefore, is glad, and my spirit rejoices. My body also shall rest in hope. For you will not abandon me to the grave, nor let your Holy One see the pit. You shall show me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy, and in your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Gracious God, we bless your holy name, for the heritage you have given us. Show us the path of life, that we may follow it in hope and come to know, know the joy of the resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A reading from the first letter of Peter, chapter 3. For Christ also suffered for sins once for all, the righteous for the unrighteous, in order to bring you to God. He was put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the Spirit, in which also he went and made a proclamation to the spirits in prison, who in former times did not obey, when God waited patiently in the days of Noah during the building of the ark, in which a few, that is eight persons, were saved through water. And baptism, which this prefigured, now saves you, not as a removal of dirt from the body, but as an appeal to God for a good conscience through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who has gone into heaven and is at the right hand of God, with angels, authorities, and powers made subject to him. Since, therefore, Christ suffered in the flesh, arm yourselves also with the same intention, for whoever has suffered in the flesh is finished with sin. So as to live for the rest of your earthly life, no longer by human desires, 
but by the will of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first and great commandment. The second is like it, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. We bring the concerns of our hearts, our community, our nation and the world before God, praying together, Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we thank you for all of the gifts you have given to us, for this past night of rest and for the promises of a new day before us, for our community of faith, for all of those who have provided for us with food and shelter, and for the new life you have given us in Jesus Christ. For these and all things make us forever grateful. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray to you for our Christian family here at St. John's, throughout our diocese, and around the world. And we pray for grace to grow in your love. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray to you for our community, for our province, our nation, and the world, for all its cares and needs, and for all who lead us and care for us. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray to you for those in need, for the sick and the lonely, for the hurt and the frightened, and especially for those who are isolated or live without hope. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those we love who have died. Particularly, we remember all who have died in the tragedy in Nova Scotia, and today we remember all the martyrs of the 20th century. That you will surround them with your care, peace, and love. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for one another, asking you to bless us, our friends and relatives. Bless our homes and our life together. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty and eternal God, the strength of those who believe and the hope of those who doubt, may we who have not seen have faith and receive the fullness of Christ's blessing who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Fill our hearts, O God, with your Holy Spirit, that we may go forth this day in peace and joy, serving you eagerly in all that we do, for Jesus' sake. Amen. May the God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, that great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you and those whom you love with everything good, that you might continue to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be the glory forever and ever. 
Amen.